Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in the last video, we have obtained the power flow solution for the IEEE 30 bar system by the Gauss-Seidel method. In this video, we are going to obtain the power flow solution of the same bus that is IEEE 30 bus by the newton robson method. Actually, we are using uh, same example and values are actually same. So, there is no need to change any value from the previous code. I have already uh, shared code in the description you can check and run yourself uh, okay so uh, code is actually same the only difference will be in the last command I will explain here uh, the bus data is actually same line data is also same because uh, we are using the same bus system and at the end uh, you just have to replace the LF Gauss function with LF Newton uh, so that we can obtain the load flow solution by the Newton Robson method. I will share this code in the description. You can download that code. Actually, that is the M file. So, so you uh, have to just uh, open that M file in your MATLAB and you will run yourself. Okay. So, so go to the uh, description section and uh, just download the M file that I shared with you and then run this code. Uh, let's run this code here. Okay. So, this is our command window. So, you can see that we have obtained the power flow solution by Newton Robson method, and the number of iterations are now reduced to 4. This is actually the, the beauty of the Newton Robson method that we have less number of iterations. You don't need to worry about the computation because uh, we have MATLAB for that burden. Okay. So, uh, that's all for today. In the next video, we will solve this uh, IEEE 30 bus uh, with the help of fast decouple method and we will obtain the power flow solution.